Good morning, Off the Bench family. How's everyone this morning? We're here at Mentorship Academy, home of the Sharks. Uh, he's hiding right now. There he is. Uh, Off the Bench Sports family meet boys basketball head coach Roshan Jacobs. Good morning, Coach Jacobs. How everybody doing out there? It's good. What's happening? Uh, nothing much. Wrapping up this school year, trying to get these things all in order. Uh, putting in input and data and paperwork into the computer. I um, want to thank you before we get going. Taking time out of your busy morning here. Uh, sit down and, and, and chat it up with us. Uh, boys basketball. Uh, why don't you first give off the bench sports listeners a little bit about Coach Jacob. Uh, Roshan Jacobs here, uh, Baton Rouge guy, raised and born. Uh, now I'm the coach at Mentorship Academy. I'm also the dean of students there, so I'm in the administrative role, which allows me uh, a lot of time to break down film and uh, look at things uh, that's going to help us going forward with the season. Uh, play high school ball at Woodlawn High School, my collegiate ball at Louisiana Monroe, uh, professionally uh, Mexico, Estonia, Finland, Morocco over a four year span. And now uh, spent time as a college assistant coach at division one and division two levels. And now I'm a high school administrator that coaches basketball at will. What has been your biggest challenge in going from college basketball to high school basketball? Uh, the biggest challenge is um, that maybe so in college, you know these guys are here for a reason. These guys are here because they had a goal and they had a dream. Uh, high school, you had to readjust and become, hey, maybe this kid's not gonna be a, a college basketball star, or, or this kid just wants to play. You gotta find a way to uh, work with everybody and you know, and mold yourself properly so that you can reach all people, all kids, all masses at this stage. What, what have you liked most about being here at Mentorship compared to being to maybe uh, 5A East Ascension or high caliber 3A Madison Prep or traditional school in Baton Rouge? Um, you know, what I like here is that I have to really, the power, I'm building the tradition. I'm turning this into what I wanted to see as my vision. Uh, that's the best thing, you know, uh, my first year of high school coaching, I was at Redemptress High School uh, before it closed and they had eight state championships, you know, uh, 23 district championships over their history. And, you know, I was just there to add on to it. Here at Mentorship, being open for year six, uh, we just had our fifth graduating class uh, graduate this past Wednesday. I'm building it. I got here at the beginning of year three. Um, I have become the all-time leading wins leader here, uh, and that's just what I enjoy about this job so much is that I'm building it in my own vision, how I want it done. So you're having fun here at Mentorship? Yes, I enjoy it here. I enjoy it. I enjoy the, the downtown atmosphere. Uh, no other school in Louisiana has offers this when you can walk out and you can see uh, state senators and state representatives walking the street or you can see uh, a multi-million dollar company in the Chase Bank Tower next door working you know nobody offers that that real realism of what adulthood and work downtown and working in a, a city is like when you're going to school for academic reasons and but you come out to the business where as soon as you step out the doors. Does that attribute to the B rating that the school has? Uh, our B rating that we have right now is a tribute to our leadership, uh, Mr. Robert Webb. He's our CEO and principal, and we have a great group of teachers that do a heck of a job as far as finding our students' niches and, you know, giving them the right uh, tools and, and mechanics that they're needed for, uh, for success. Mentorship, it's a charter school. Yes, it's an EBR charter school uh, that EBR has uh, here in the parish. Why, why should a kid come to mentorship to be a student athlete? I believe a kid, if you want to be a student athlete and be the best student athlete you can be, uh, I would say mentorship offers the best of both worlds. 
we're a highly academic place right now, being that high school-wise, Lehigh and Baton Rouge High Magna are the only two schools in our parish that, uh, that are public, that have a higher grade, they both have A's, and we're next in line with, with a B grade. Uh, like I told earlier about being downtown in the city, in an environment that forces you to adapt, forces you to mature, I think that's always positive for our youth, for our children. And also, we're just now starting to trend upward athletically. Uh, when I got here, I inherited a team that was two and 27. Uh, that team turned around that first year and went 17 and 14. Uh, the next year we went 24 and nine. Just a lot of things we're trending upward. We do not have the history of a McKinley or a Scotlandville or you know a Parkview Baptist or any of these places are you high. But you know for a young person who wants to be able to reach high academic goals as well as be someone who's playing at an early age, you know we offer that because we don't have a, a waiting list of a Scotlandville where you might not play until you're a senior or a McKinley where you might not see the floor until you're a junior. You know, I'm a younger guy with a different vision. Uh, I feel like if you're young and you can get it done, then I'm going to put you out there and let you grow. Uh, you know, and I feel like just like in the college game, young people want to play now. And that's what we're offering here because we're building this and you can be sort of part of something building or be the first or the forefront, or that be that legend that everyone in the future uh, wants to be like. This is going into your third summer. Fourth. Fourth summer. What what goals have you set forth in building this group of young men that you have now into October? Well, right now, you know, the biggest part about it is summer, you know, our kids have so many distractions from parents to vacations to uh, if you're older, you may want to get a summer job. And it's just about having my kids understand that there's a balance for everything and setting a plan and teaching our young men how to have a plan and how to have an agenda that we can work wholeheartedly and stay with it. You know, I'm one of those guys. I give my kids all of July off. Because I feel like you need that time with your family. You need that time to yourself. You need that time to your job if you want to put focus on other things. So we're going to uh, get in some team camps uh, this summer in the month of June and do our work, uh, continue doing our work a couple days a week here at school, and uh, just hoping to get better until we see each other in August again. Can we talk about this upcoming season a little bit? Yeah, we can talk about it. Um, We've got about five varsity returners coming back. A uh, couple of starters, two starters, two kids that started during the time, or three kids that started during that time period of this past season. Um, we're gonna go as our uh, our point guard goes, uh, Bryson Dundee. Uh, he's a tenth grader. He started for us as a ninth grader last year. Averaged thirteen point six points a game as a ninth grader. He's gonna be a tenth grader this year, and we're gonna expect him to have a great summer as far as getting better physically and working on his skill set as well as, you know, understanding the game better at a higher rate, you know. So Bryson's going to be the reason, going to be our drive this season. Uh, so as well as he's goes, I think the team's going to go. We have some really good pieces to put around him, and I think we're putting ourselves to uh, to put place, pace to place in that top three in our district. Uh, we're in a tough district in 7-3-A with uh, some really good people, really good teams, really good coaches. So every district game for us is a fight and a battle. Uh, but I think we're heading in the right direction. So I think with Bryson Dundee uh, leading us, uh, we have another young man, Henry Guillory, who's going to be a senior. He's a 6'5 kid that has a lot of natural ability that we're just still trying to hone and teach him getting more reps as far as being a basketball player. But with those two guys, I think that gives us a one-two punch inside and outside that I think with the other pieces we have around them that we're going to be pretty successful and pretty good this year. You you kind of you kind of leaned into my next question. Um, you guys play in a very tough district: Madison Prep, Baker, Bruley, U High, and um, legendary Glen Oaks Panthers. How do you adjust? How how was it adjusting to coming into being the head coach here, knowing that you had to face 
Again, a Harvey Adger, Jeff Jones, Joe Spencer, um, Jamie Holmes, Jamie, Kirby Luke. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty interesting saying that uh, I'm the youngest guy in this district right now, uh, being that I'm only 33. But you know, I just have to come in and be myself and show the the confidence that I have as a coach, and show that I know just as much. I may not have. The years of a Harvey Adger, I may not have the state championships of a Jeff Jones, but I could be a Hellfire uh, Roshan Jacobs, and that's what I have to portray my kids and give my kids. Hey, give them the confidence that hey, that doesn't matter. Cause once we go on the court, everybody puts their shorts on the same way, and we've got to execute our game plan. We don't have to play like anyone else. We don't have to live in anyone else's identity. We just need to play mentorship basketball and what we've been instilling. And it goes back to the our earlier question about us building something here the way I wanted this, my vision. So I enjoy it, you know, it gives me a place to rank myself, you know. I mean, this district is amazing. You've got nearly 15 state championships in our district between U High, Glen Oaks, Baker, and Madison Prep, you know. Kirby Lou at Brule has been to three top 28s. Uh, you know, Jamie Holmes has been to three top 28s within his time at Family Christian and uh, this past year, you made it to the quarterfinals with Baker, so I enjoy the competition. It's fun, right? I, I love, I love Coach Jamie. I got to get over there and see him. He's pretty energetic, high, really, really high energy guy. So I can't wait to see you guys compete this upcoming season, uh, man. You know, we go way back, Coach J. Right, right. Um, got to watch you play college collegiately. Um, you you were always one of my favorite athletes. Right. Uh, I used to come home uh, from ball, and I would come work out with with Grayson. You know, uh, during my time in the summer, I would work out with him uh, with A fundamentals. Uh, a so. game fundamentals. <laughs> yeah, so you know that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, that was you know. So yeah, uh, but thank you, Coach Man. I, I really appreciate it. We got we got another treat coming up for y'all later today. Right, right. Um, so you'll see Coach Jay again, um, along with Coach Whittington. They'll be telling you guys about a project they have coming up. Thank you again, Coach. Remember, get off the bench, get into the game.